Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Arnaud Lago Trend Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Arnaud Lego trend indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 308 indicators. And out of those 308 indicators, 123 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 123 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So today's indicator is the Arnaud Lego trend indicator. And you can see it here on the screen. And so it consists of a couple of different lines. Let me actually go in and bump up one of these lines just to make it uh, a little bit easier to see that one. Uh, so you can see the here that we have a big black line running through the middle there. That one sets the overall trend direction of the market. Uh, and then we have the purple line here, which uh, sets the medium trend of the market. And the blue line here, which sets the short term trend of the market. So how do we use this? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, what we would like to see is that um, the both the purple and the blue line be either below or above the black line. And so, for example, you can see right here that uh, we have or even right here for just a moment. Uh, but we'll look at this area right here. You can see that uh, price action um, is uh, comes up and it swings up into this area, but then it comes back down. So I guess I should say price action and both the lines should both be or all three be under the black line. And so we see that price action swings up over the black line. It comes back down. 
uh, we can see that the purple line is below the big black line. We can see that the blue line follows price action rather closely. And so it swings up for a moment and goes up above the black line. But then it comes back down and closes back down below the black line. And then it crosses down below the purple line. At that point, we would go for a short signal. And then the opposite is true over here on this side. And so we see that price action raises up above the black line. We can see that the blue line raises above the black line. We can see that the purple line follows a little ways later right here. When that happens right there, we would take a long position uh, as well as when we get a cross of the blue line above the purple line for a long position. So you see here that it drops down and then it pops back up right here. We would then take that as a long signal. So I'll go ahead and start testing this and we'll take a look at it a little bit more uh, detail here as we move forward. So this crosses right there, but all right, so there we go. There's a, a really good example. So right, um, let's see here, make sure we're on the right one. So right there is gonna be the cross. So we have price action above the big black line. We have the purple line is above the big black line. We have the blue line above the big black line. Then you can see that price action or the uh, light blue line swings down below the purple line for just a moment. And then it crosses back up to the upside, which would be a long signal. And you can see that we got to uh, take profit rather nicely. Okay, so over here on this side, this would be a short right here. So we have the price action crosses down below the big black line. We have uh, the light blue line following price action rather closely is below the big black line. And then a little ways later, the purple line follows behind them and then eventually comes down crossing down below the big black line. And the light blue line is still below the purple at that point. So that would be a signal to go short. And unfortunately, this one would not have worked out for us. We would, would have gotten stopped out on that one. So let's continue to play it forward here. All right, so we pick up another long signal right there on that one. Uh, let's see, I measured off the wrong side there. So right there to right there would have gotten us to take profit and a winning trade there all right so uh this one took a little bit longer than i expected to explain uh, i'm gonna cut some of the video out here so that way the video doesn't get too much longer and i'm gonna pick this up when we get a little bit closer to the end of the year okay so we are almost to the end of the year now let's go ahead and finish up these last couple signals so let's see uh, price action is above, blue line is above, purple line is above right there. And we get a drop and cross back up above right here. Let's see, 89032. That is right on. So that one technically, I'm not sure if the, right here on this candle, they were the exact same position. So I don't know if TradingView would have counted that as an actual cross or not. Because often what I'll do is I will set up alerts to uh, let me know when something like this is occurring, a, a cross of two lines, for example. And so I'm not sure if TradingView would have actually alerted that one or not. So we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt uh, to the losing side and say that it wouldn't have, if it would have, that would have been a winning trade, but we're going to say it didn't and uh, go off that basis. Let's see. Uh, over here, do, 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 do. And it looks like that was the last signal of the year. All right. So before we count out the signals, if you are interested 
in excelling your trading knowledge. Uh, if you are a new trader or even if you're an experienced trader, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. Uh, to do that, you have to become a Patreon. Uh, it is uh, join our Patreon, I guess I should say. It's super cheap. It doesn't cost hardly anything at all. Uh, but we put a lot of really, really great information in there, a lot of advanced information. We have a really good group of people in there who are posting uh, great trade ideas on a regular basis, really giving those uh, ideal market conditions to be going in and out of trades to grow small accounts uh, really, really quickly. Um, as well as uh, we have a, a list of a lot of the winning indicators that are uh, for the MT platforms as well. Um, and just a lot of great information in there. It's a, it's a really great group of positive, uh, inspirational people in there, keeping things positive and really flowing nicely. So I highly, highly recommend uh, that you uh, that you uh, join that channel and become a part of that group you're looking at uh, really boosting your trading knowledge or just uh, being a part of a, a group of like-minded people. So, all right, enough rambling on. Let's get back to the indicator here. So let's back this up a little bit right here. All right, let's count these out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we have 11 trades all together, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 winning trades. And so that's definitely going to meet the 60% criteria. Uh, not a bad indicator at all. All in all, I've always liked the uh, the Lego indicators, whether it be uh, ones like this, or I've seen a couple other ones as well uh, that tend to work really, really uh, reasonably well. Uh, 11 trades in one year that's not bad at all and uh yeah a decent winner so this one's definitely going to go on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already like this video share this video comment below and subscribe to the channel also turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime i post a new video so that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing. Also, there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.